Welcome to the Gen Z childhood trauma iceberg. I've got to say, this is probably the best iceberg that I've seen on the entire internet. This video is probably most relatable if you were born within the years of 2000 to 2005, as most kids born later didn't really have full access to the internet as people at that time did or were at that age. Credit goes to you slash guff the doge on reddit. Incredible stuff. Without further ado, I just want to say, if you're a younger kid watching this video, I suggest that you should probably click off if you are under the age of 13, since we're going to be getting to some creepy subjects now. I'd like to point out that another YouTuber actually made a video on this iceberg, but they kind of made an abridged version. This one will be every single entry in full detail. That's right, we're not missing a beat, this is going to be an entire comprehensive look at the Gen Z childhood trauma iceberg. I suggest that you should probably click off if you are under the age of 13, since we're going to be getting to some creepy subjects now. If you're still here, well, enjoy the show. Starting off at the top of the iceberg, we have William Afton's corpse. William Afton's corpse can be seen inside the Springtrap character in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. This is always a grisly sight since you could see his flesh and teeth through the robot. FNAF jump scares. This one is very self-explanatory. This is simply referring to the jump scares in the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Agamemnon Counterpart. This video is a strange one to say the least. It starts off saying in the year 2571, a video cassette tape was found in a pile of rubble on a certain blue planet. What you're about to witness will not be the contents of the aforementioned cassette. This is an entirely different recording proceeds to show what looks like some sort of demonic kid show with intense screaming in the background. If you want to learn more, Scare Theater made a pretty good video about it. Giga Bowser. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, at the end of the adventure mode, Bowser transforms into Giga Bowser, which is a lot scarier than the normal Bowser. Giga Bowser returns in every Smash game since as Bowser's final smash. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 had you play as a little kid protecting himself from nightmare robots in his house that were trying to kill him. This game also features the infamous bite of 1983. Sabrina. Sabrina was a character in the original Pokemon anime that trapped the main characters in a giant dollhouse. She was seen having mystical powers and had a creepy appearance. Minecraft Mobs. While not the most scary nowadays, way back when we were all little kids, the Minecraft mobs were a bit creepy. The ones that freaked me out the most were the zombies, zombie villagers, and of course the gas. Their screeches were just terrible. <coughs> creepypasta. This one's very broad and is just talking about the general idea of creepypasta. Whether it be Candle Cove, Happy Happy, Slenderman, Sonic.exe, or any of the other classic creepypastas, there was probably at least one that freaked you out as a kid. Luigi's Mansion Beta Game Over. The beta of Luigi's Mansion is something that has a legendary status on the internet. Little footage has been seen from it, and the creepypastas and fan theories portray the game to be really creepy. A scene from an old trailer of the game portrays a depressed zombie-like Luigi standing outside the mansion. Many people thought that this was the original game over screen. Vulgar Mario Sprite Animations this entry is referring to the plethora of Mario sprite animations that were not meant for kids, including one that's coming up later on this list. Haunted Gaming. This entry refers to the creepypasta series Haunted Gaming, made by Mudahar of Some Ordinary Gamers. As a kid, I thought that Some Ordinary Gamers created all creepypastas that they read, leaving me to dislike the channel and Mudahar as a whole. Scary Car Commercial. This is a classic. This video is a commercial for an energy coffee drink. The point of the commercial was to scare the viewer and to get their heart pumping, like, as if they would have drank this coffee drink. The first upload of it on YouTube tells you to watch the car carefully and listen to the audio, only for a zombie to pop out. Inflation scenes. This entry is referring to the scenes in media where a character's body gets inflated. Not much more than that. k 4 vor Animations. Gayforia was a YouTube channel who would release animations of cartoon characters eating each other whole. 
The videos got way more views than they deserved, both from innocent kids just clicking a video with a familiar character that had a weird thumbnail, to people who were into that kind of thing. Later down the line, lots of kids who watched these videos developed vor fetishes. Spanish MS Paint Spongebob Animations. This refers to many weird and sometimes creepy Microsoft Paint animations of Spongebob that were usually made by Spanish-speaking people. Scary Maze Game. The Scary Maze Game lives on in infamy as something that we all got scared by or scared someone with. The game presents as a simple brain test as just a maze. You go through some pretty easy mazes until you reach a difficult area. Halfway through it, the face of the girl from The Exorcist shows up, and a loud scream plays. Good stuff. Zim harvests his peers inside him. This refers to the episode Dark Harvest from the Nickelodeon show Invader Zim. The show was already on the darker side, which is why you always see emo girls wearing Hot Topic brand shirts in the show, but this episode was darker than the rest. In this episode, Zim harvests his classmates' organs, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Scar's death. This entry refers to the death of Scar, the antagonist of the Lion King. It's a pretty violent scene in an otherwise kid-friendly movie. Sailor Moon Villains The villains of Sailor Moon had some creepy moments, but weren't overall that bad in my opinion. But if you were a little kid seeing some of the creepier moments these characters had, I can see how that could stick with you. Ouija. Ouija. Oh man. You had to be there. Ouija was a huge meme in the YouTube poop community. The original Ouija is from the PC port of Mario is Missing. This sprite of Luigi was spread all over the internet and nicknamed Ouija for its creepy appearance. However, what really made him creepy was the Ouija virus. Ouija! If you got the Ouija virus, then your head would turn into Ouija's. There was also a Ouija computer virus which scared me out of downloading free arcade games from the internet. Missing no. Missing No was a glitch Pokemon in the original Pokemon game. It had a glitched appearance and an overall mysterious and creepy vibe, which was incredibly creepy for some younger kids learning about it. Spongebob close-ups. Remember those scenes in Spongebob where they would zoom in on a character and have a very gross slash grotesque version of that character or thing? Well, as a little kid that stuff was creepy. Imagine being like three years old and seeing this. Herobrine. Herobrine was the number one boogeyman of early Gen Z kids. The story goes that someone playing Minecraft saw a strange figure with a default skin and no eyes. The player posted it on the Minecraft forums, but it got deleted. He later emailed Notch, the creator of Minecraft, asking if he had a brother. Notch responds with, I used to, but he is no longer with us. Many, many kids fell for this, and there was a whole ton of fake Herobrine videos, including this one, which I made when I was nine. Chef Gets Boiled Alive ad. This was a public service announcement that aired on some children television networks. It featured a chef talking to the camera as if it's an interview. She picks up a pot full of boiling oil and then slips, leaving the oil to fall on her skin. She screams and it shows a shot of her face with the skin peeling off. Yeah, this scared the shit out of me when I was a little kid. Let's move on. I Feel Fantastic I Feel Fantastic is a famous creepy video about an android woman singing about feeling fantastic. For some, this is incredibly disturbing. Others think it's funny, and others are in the middle. That's where I find myself. The video has a made-up backstory saying that the video creator is a serial killer. He wishes that his victims would say that they felt fantastic as he was killing them. The story also goes that the clothes on the robot are the clothes of the victims. The shot of the backyard is where they are buried. This is not true, but it is a fun creepypasta. Tom goes to hell. Ow Oni Ow Oni. This is a freeware role-playing horror video game. The game features puzzle and RPG elements that revolve around a boy named Hiroshi who is trapped with his friends in a haunted mansion and stalked by a monster. This game was played by big YouTubers such as PewDiePie and Markiplier. Said YouTubers have a large audience of kids, so it makes sense that kids would be scared by this uh, and the nightmarish imagery in the game. DNA Productions DNA Productions is the studio behind Jimmy Neutron. I think this entry on the iceberg refers to the logo with a short animation of a three-eyed monkey saying, Hi, I'm Paul. 
You can see how this could totally scare kids who were just watching cartoons on Nick. The Shrexorcist. Shrexorcist is a parody of The Exorcist on the Halloween special showcase Scared Shrekless. The Shrexorcist sees Shrek trying to exorcise Pinocchio as he was supposedly possessed. Turns out it's just Jiminy Cricket inside his head. Pinocchio proceeds to crush Jiminy Cricket. Clearly, this could be really creepy to kids just wanting to watch some funny Shrek shorts, but in my opinion, the short with Jinji and his evil girlfriend is way creepier than Shrek's assist. Bambi's mom is killed. If you ever watched Bambi as a kid, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sonic CD Fun is Infinite. This was a hidden screen that could be accessed by entering a code in the Sonic CD sound test screen. This features these demonic Sonic faces in a Japanese text that reads, The fun is infinite. The screen is pretty infamous online in the early 2010s. Maynard's Elevator Ad. This is a Canadian commercial for Maynard's Wine Gums. It features the head of a moose hypnotizing a man into walking into an elevator and eating wine gums. You can totally see how this would freak out any kids unfortunate enough to see it. The Wormy Close-Up. This is referring to a close-up of Spongebob and Patrick's pet butterfly, Wormy. Close-up is just footage of a butterfly close-up, but it has a weird buzzing noise in the background and makes it pretty creepy. Mr. Creepypasta FNAF Audios. These were videos portraying shows at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and other notable events in the FNAF timeline, such as The Bite of 87. These videos were out before FNAF was as big as it is today. These videos were beloved by the fandom, including me when I was 10 years old. One Missed Call. What will it sound like when you die? In One Missed Call, a chain of people receive terrifying phone messages of their own fatal moments. Though the messages can be deleted, their number is up. Reads the movie synopsis. Yeah, I would not want to watch this or its trailers as a kid either. Max Sugar Rush. Max Sugar Rush was a thing that would happen in the show Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. The main character, Mac, eats sugar and then goes crazy, acts like a junkie. Clearly, this is disturbing to younger kids. Three Lame Studios. This is a YouTube channel that would produce terrible, cheap animations featuring characters that were famous at the time, i.e. Angry Birds, Undertale, Minecraft, Five Nights at Freddy's, etc. If you're a viewer of Oni Plays, then it's likely that you've heard a couple references to this bizarre YouTube channel. Adult Clay Animations. This is kind of a broad one, but I feel like it's mostly referring to Simpsons Couch Gag Part 1, You're Next, by League Hard Castle. Lots of kids clicked on this video because of the innocent looking thumbnail. I was one of those kids. This is a really, really disturbing animation featuring Bart Simpson's bullies breaking into the Simpson house and brutally murdering everyone until Marge gets revenge, killing the bullies, only to bleed out. This animation is really well done, but incredibly disturbing, and, and definitely something that most early Gen Z kids would remember. It, 1990. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Seeing It, or scenes from It as a kid, is a great source of childhood trauma. Blizzetta Boss Battle. In The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, the boss battle Blizzetta had a creepy rotating face that would definitely scare a kid. Freddy Fazbear's Laugh. Freddy Fazbear's laugh is that of a little girl's only slowed down. <laughs> you hear it when Freddy moves around in the original Five Nights at Freddy's game. This would lead it to get stuck in people's heads and freak them out. Judge Doom's reveal. Judge Doom is the antagonist in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. He is creepy as hell. He's a half-human, half-cartoon hybrid who can be crushed by a steamroller and blow himself back up. I would not want to see this guy in my dreams. Suicidemouse.avi This is a creepypasta about a lost Mickey Mouse cartoon that caused people to go crazy. There are some portrayals of it on YouTube which were very scary to me and many other kids of my age. Scottish Anti-Drug Photograph Ad This was a commercial aired in Scotland by the name of Photograph. It shows a photo of a woman smiling that slowly shows the effects of hard drugs on the body. Her face gets super messed up, and it starts displaying other faces that start to morph and distort. Very creepy stuff. Shy Guy Unmasked. Ever wonder what the Shy Guy from Super Mario looked like without the mask? I sure did. This entry could be referring to some creepy art of the Shy Guy maskless, but 
it's most likely referring to the shy guy ghosts in Luigi's Mansion. You can suck the mask right off these ghosts and reveal their faces. Honestly, they aren't all that scary to me, but I can see how a younger kid might be scared by it. Violet turns into a blueberry. This is obviously referring to both Willy Wonk in the Chocolate Factory and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. I can totally see a kid being scared of this scene and the existential horror it provides. What scared me most about this scene is that Willy Wonka mentions Oompa Loompa who turned into a blueberry. Said Oompa Loompa is never seen in the movie, so I always thought he just died. Coco from Animal Crossing. I mean, just look at this thing. That's creepy. Scared Shrekless. The Shrexorcist, which was that earlier entry on this iceberg, was from this special. Scared Shrekless has a ton of scary moments. Everything from the abandoned Duloc, the creepy play song, and of course the stories the characters tell. The one that Puss and Donkey tell always scared me as a kid. Mario Gets Possessed. Mario Gets Possessed is one of those old Mario plush videos made by kids. In this video, the Mario plush gets possessed by a boo and the kids put paper on his eyes to portray it. This video is not scary nowadays, but I can see how a little kid could be scared by it. Shallow Waters. Peppa Pig and the Bacon. Peppa Pig and the Bacon is a Spanish animation featuring Peppa Pig tasting bacon and becoming obsessed with it. She ends up eating her father and eventually turning the whole Peppa Pig family into bacon. The animation was pretty similar to the actual show, so many kids watched the video and were traumatized by it. Including me. Tarzan Whammy. On the game show Whammy, you could spin a wheel and get a bad result. Said bad result was Tarzan, a creepy little devil man who would have to splat against the screen or hit an elephant. Mr. Davey's MLP Animations. Mr. Davey was a YouTuber with an animation style that is basically indistinguishable from the actual My Little Pony show. His animations, such as Smile HD, Derpy Gets Pranked, and Cupcakes were incredibly violent and disturbing. I do not suggest looking them up after this. I'm gonna say do not research. Spongebob and Patricks. Spongebob is an old internet name for disturbing Spongebob art. Spongebob is creepy as hell and an excellent source of childhood trauma. Violin Girl Jump Scare. This entry is referring to a scene in Courage the Cowardly Dog. This scene is straight up scary with the uncanny stop motion animation and the loud sound. Jeff Dunham's Puppets. Jeff Dunham is a comedian that uses puppets for his shows. His most famous character, Ahmed, is a dead terrorist. And uh, he was definitely very creepy to a lot of kids growing up. Morbid PSAs. Like the Chef Boiling entry from earlier, morbid scary PSAs were pretty prevalent in the 2000s. Many of these disturbed kids since for whatever reason they would err on child-friendly channels sometimes. Zombie Avengers. Zombie Avengers is an old YouTube animation featuring the Avengers as zombies. This video has a comedic tone, but the imagery would be creepy if you saw it as a kid. Arnold's Nightmare. This entry is most likely referring to the scene in Hey Arnold, where Arnold falls asleep and sees him and his friend Gerald as very old men on the bus. It then pans over to Arnold's grandpa, who looks terrifying as his jaw proceeds to fall off. Jason Voorhees Unmasked. I mean, just look at this guy, that's super creepy. There are multiple different varieties, but this Toxic Avenger looking one is probably the worst. Arnold's head freezes in space. This is referring to that one episode of the Magic School Bus where they go to space. Arnold gets upset, and then this happens. Yo! Unsettling Simpson scene slash parodies. This could be anything from Treehouse of Horror to that scene where Homer's face melts off. There are quite a few unsettling scenes in The Simpsons. Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour. Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour is a YouTube animation created by Seinfeld Spitzstein. I would suggest watching it for yourself. This video is iconic. It's so quotable that me and my friends still quote it to this day. The creepiness adds so much to the video and I highly recommend it. M is Bad. M is Bad is one of those classic Mario sprite animations. It takes a very twisted turn and I will not describe the events of said video in this video. Luituma Onion Smash. This video is a parody of the classic Ivan Polka video. In this video, the woman's hand gets twisted as she spins the leak. It then reaches its peak and spins back, hitting her in the face. 
She's then beat up, and the song plays in slow motion. I don't know what it is about this video specifically, but it's just disturbing, even to this day. McDonald Knows Ad. This ad is just weird. It starts off with a man smiling. It starts to pan and pan and pan, while creepy music plays in the background. It then shows that his nose is connected to another man's nose when an alarm clock starts ringing and it tells you to buy McDonald's coffee. What the Freddy Krueger kills? This entry is pretty self-explanatory. Freddy Krueger has some pretty gruesome kills. Freiburg. This entry is referring to an episode of Steven Universe where a fast food mascot comes to life and becomes evil. Pretty creepy. Humpty Dumpty Kinderad. I Kinder. always loved this video as a kid. So I'm just gonna play it here and let you make up your own mind. Chocka Dooby! Dumpty Chocka Dooby! Pop Swabble! <laughs> Toy! Yodel Yum and Choco Scrum with multi Pop Swabble Dies! Oh, Grubby! <laughs> Me Scrubble now! Snuggle! Whee! Kinder Surprise from Ferrero. Mario ROM. This is a classic creepypasta about a ROM someone downloaded of Super Mario World. The game is simply titled Mario. Eventually, the OP finds this creepy picture. The ROM is actually real and not just a story. Jason Voorhees Kills. This is referring to all the kills from the Friday the 13th horror movie series. Not much else to say except for you probably shouldn't watch Friday the 13th as a kid. DeviantArt. Whether you browse the website yourself or you watch Solar Sands look at cringe, you probably remember seeing some really weird, mostly furry slash fetish related stuff on DeviantArt. And you probably wish you didn't see it. Flapjack Cat. In the show Marvelous Adventures of Flapjack, there was an evil cat with this terrifying face. That show was weird. Syriac. Syriac is a YouTube channel who's been making these incredibly strange and disturbing YouTube videos for years. His videos definitely scared me and many others as a kid. Not without my handbag. This is incredibly strange and dark stop motion made by Ardman Animations, the people who made Wallace and Gromit. In this animation, a dead aunt refuses to go to hell without her handbag. I know if I saw this as a kid, I wouldn't be terrified. Let Me Hear Your War Cry. Let Me Hear Your War Cry is an edited scene from the movie, Full Metal Jacket. In this video, the soldiers' faces are replaced with these disturbing mannequin things as they scream creepy high-pitched screams. I never watched this video as a kid, but I always saw the thumbnail and it freaked me out. The Scarecrow's Hallucinations. The Scarecrow in the Dark Knight movie makes people hallucinate, and it's pretty creepy. Not much more than that. Call of Duty. Call of Duty should not be played by kids, but it is. By a lot of kids, especially back in the 2000s. There was a lot of both violent and scary content in these games, so it's no wonder it's on the list. So, that wraps it up for part one of the Gen Z childhood trauma iceberg. I hope you enjoyed this video and could relate to a few of these. This video took quite a lot of work, and uh, if you're still here, thank you for watching. I usually hate it when YouTubers beg you to subscribe, but this is one situation where I'm gonna do it. This is only part one of four for this iceberg, and the thing is that it only gets better from here. So I would highly suggest that you subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when the next part comes out. I can't say when it'll happen, since this video took a long time to make, but I promise that it will come out. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.